Only two news tonight talks with a Miami County business owner who sadly was the victim of an elaborate heist. The thieves literally cut their way into the business and stole nearly $30,000 in commercial lawn care equipment. Robert Lowry has the interview you're seeing only on two. Robert? Well, Mark, unfortunately, the owner of Landcare Solutions in Tip City says he was a week away from moving his business to their new headquarters in Huber Heights, and that's where they already have a new facility with security alarms and cameras installed. And he says the thieves in this case knew exactly what they were doing. For the owner of this landscaping company, he got the phone call he never hoped to get from one of his employees. And he says, hey, there's a problem. I said, well, there can't be that big of a problem. Let's talk about it. Yeah. He says, you'd be surprised. That problem turned out to be tens of thousands of dollars in mowers, tools, and other equipment stolen during the night. More amazing is how the thieves took all the items. Instead of breaking through the door, they managed to cut through the siding on this barn. Nothing was able to stop them as they ruffled through the Land Care Solutions office, even taking several uniforms before loading a truck up with lawn mowers. Then inside was uh, all steel equipment and Exmark mowers. Mm -hmm. um, the stuff that's missing still, the mowers and the handheld, uh, it was every bit of $30,000. The truck would later be found abandoned in Dayton without the lawn mowers. The Miami County Sheriff's Office putting out these photos of the items stolen, including a warning about similar thefts in the area around Tip City. All of them having power tools, lawn equipment, and other hardware taken. I wish people would just pray for these guys. Like, yeah. you know, police, like, time in jail might help, but praying for these guys is probably the best thing that they have. I mean, they're probably, um, you know, hooked on some drug, and this is just the only option they have. The Miami County Sheriff's Office still investigating this case and several others that have happened over the past week. And anyone with information asked to call the Sheriff's Office. Meanwhile, deputies have increased patrols in affected areas. Reporting Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.